Hello, and welcome to how to schedule a diagnostic test and modify student diagnostic settings from the teacher view. I'm going to tell you about how to schedule the diagnostic test and modify student diagnostic settings. This is very important because scheduling a test makes the test available to specific learners during a specific time frame. The time frame can be as broad as the diagnostic testing window or it can be smaller than the window. Narrowing a student's testing window helps increase testing security. Edmentum recommends deciding early on on who's responsible for scheduling the diagnostic. In some cases, it may be necessary to allow instructors to schedule the test because they may be more familiar with the availability and skill level of their learners to complete the test. In other cases, it may be necessary to allow administrators to schedule the test so that, they, so that all learners complete the diagnostic assessment within the diagnostic testing window. Now let's review the steps in our exact path program. Select the subject the diagnostic test will cover. Then we're gonna select diagnostic. Under diagnostic, we're gonna go and select scheduling. We'll start by making sure that we have scheduled the correct academic year and also make sure that we have selected the right class period. And then make sure that we have selected the correct diagnostic. Once we have all those corrected and selected, then we will go in and click the checkbox next to the student's name to schedule him or her for the diagnostic. You're able to search by class, location, grade, and name. Then we're going to click Schedule. Our next step, we will have the scheduled diagnostic availability. Here you're able to select the start time for the availability that we provide for the diagnostic. So we'll start with 7 a.m. for our students. And there is an option to have an end date. And again, that is optional. And you can also put in that date and the time. And this will be the time the students will be able to open their diagnostic test. Once you've selected the date and the time, then you can select schedule. The date range must be within the diagnostic window that has been previously set and created. You will not be able to schedule a diagnostic test outside of that testing window. To view the students that you have scheduled, you can click on this box here that says scheduled. And here you can review all the students that you have scheduled with their date and start time. You also have the availability to go ahead and schedule their audio controls by just toggling over to making it on. You can do that for each individual student or you can do it for all your students that you have scheduled. So when students take the diagnostic, he or she will see the click to speak button under the reader tools. Depending on the student's grade level, this button may be turned on automatically or the students may need to toggle it on. This feature is for students who, need, who are in need of the click to speak accommodations, enabling audio controls, allow them to select a text and have it read to them. And again, for grades, kindergarten through second grade when they take the diagnostic, that is an automatic feature for all those students. Now for us to move on, let's go ahead and modify the student diagnostic settings from the teacher view. We will go and start with my classes. And then we will select manage classes. And then under student settings, we will click diagnostic. And here you can see it's broken, broken up by the different subjects and the different um, diagnostics for your students. And these settings are able to set up for the accommodations for individual students or all students. Um, you can select the subject and toggle on each accommodation you would like for it to apply. Here you have the accommodation of starting a grade level, um, a different grade level for the next diagnostic, or you also have the text to speech. 
you're able to adjust the grade level on the next diagnostic for each subject. We strongly recommend that you only consider adjusting the starting grade level on the student's first exact path diagnostic. Adjusting the setting to change a student's starting grade level for the student's upcoming diagnostic, a student's first diagnostic grade level is based on the student system's grade level. After that, future diagnostics are solely based on the results of the student's most recent diagnostic. And again, you're also able to adjust the text-to-speech, which will be enabled for students that will allow them to see the text-to-speech during their diagnostic. This will not apply to their learning path activities. And again, thank you so much for watching how to schedule the diagnostic and modify student diagnostic settings from the teacher view.